hello scorpio welcome welcome back you guys we're going to get entwined with your reading your daily reading i feel like a lot of you are going through healing i got that message um let's see what we have from the universe for you today okay so if this does resonate remember to like the video give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel so what's going on for scorpio angels what do we have for scorpios energy what do we have for scorpio okay yeah <laughs> i just felt like when i saw that healing in my head like you're going through some kind of healing um this is something that just happened you just found out about this you're kind of heartbroken about it and you're going through it. And I feel like it's something to do with this pe this person's energy. Look at this. The Two of Cups. The Knight of Swords. You have the Ace of Wands. So this is happening very quickly. This is what I'm feeling here. Oof. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> there is this a huge conflict between you and this person that you really care about. This person care about you too and the Two of Cups cups here you know but you guys are just in separation at least um in your heart okay <laughs> i feel like this person didn't give you the relationship that you were looking for um they didn't really invest in this relationship and now they're coming towards you all right i don't feel like this person wants to end this you know they want to try to fix it try to communicate as much as they know how i don't feel like this person knows how to communicate as well or know how to like perform a, a conversation when it's actually is like a, a conflict between you and this person or with any of their friends or family. They just have this hard time expressing themselves, all right? But I feel like they're going to try. They're going to try to give you some kind of explanation here. They want to like, you know, just move forward very quickly. They don't want to dwell in this energy. I feel like it's a lot to do with you realizing this person is not as accomplished as you thought or is not the things that they told you from the beginning about what they wanted and what they wanted to try is not what you thought you know it, it's like you're realizing that this person might not be uh the right person for you you know when it comes to a lot of things it's kind of you disappointment here when you're discovering this as well and i'm seeing like a lack of, a lack of confidence within this person when it comes to their determination this is why they're looking like oh i've done everything but nothing ever you know panned off for me why am i suffering you know kind of energy they're kind of like um not seeing their failures you know not learning from their failures per se huh. so definitely a, a energy where this person is not learning from their failures and trying to be more successful here and definitely someone that is just let you linger away let you move on with your life and then you know and do nothing and they let the situation just like get into a bigger and bigger and bigger situation without solving it but i feel like they want to come back and it's something like change within them like they feel like they really really want this because they sat back and did nothing and now i'm seeing like a huge um transformation within this person where they're saying i need to get my person back i am determined i can do this you know and it's like in the moment as well it's not like something that someone told them it's like they were just sitting there on the couch and they're thinking about something and it just came to them, this revelation, and now they're like coming after you. But you walked away from this person not wanting to anyway. This is what I'm feeling. Like you weren't sure if this was the right decision for you and you made a decision that um, was it was it wasn't what you wanted, okay? So I'm definitely seeing the five of wands here, okay? And I'm feeling like there was like a huge conflict between a lot of different people. Okay, that is coming up as well. Um, it doesn't have to be, it could just be you and this person that is having this disagreement. And you felt like, you know what, it's time for me to just bounce. <laughs> this is what you're saying. Like, it's time for me to just bounce, you know, using those 90 words. <laughs> um, and you just felt like um, the energy wasn't you weren't solving anything this is what i'm feeling you know and you just walked away from this situation on the back of the deck we have the surprise surprise a huge apology coming towards you i know i titled a video earlier surprise surprise i think i said surprise huge apology so 
this is going to be title of that because you're not going to see this one coming either okay let me just make sure it's not you scorpio i think it wasn't that i titled that video surprise huge apology i just want to make sure i'm not using the same okay so it wasn't you it was gemini's video so i'm going to title that your video because this is a surprise okay because you think that this is over the way they made this relationship linger though linger the problems, the conflict, and the the pride that this person has, as well, mm, you not you don't even know that this person is coming towards you with a huge apology, with a huge apology. And then we have the offer here. There's going to be a slow process, even though they're coming off as sensitive, but they're coming off as someone that wants to have a relationship with you. But they're slow when it comes to you know giving you what you want. It's a slow process, but they want a future with you. Look at this, the Nine of Cups. A lot of you are going to feel like, you know what, you're out of place in this relationship. But they want to have this relationship with you. They want to be successful. Um, there's a lot of mistakes that was made here, but I feel like you're, you and this person are going to talk about it. You know, this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing conversation um, through it all, through it all. And that is good. As long as you have understanding, communication, clarity, and then you have trust. You, it's like I'm getting a vibe that you guys can start over and fix this. There's a lot of deceit that happened in this relationship. I'm seeing the five of swords. But there is this like, okay, enough is enough. I, I said what I said. I did what I did. It was unforgettable, unforgivable for some, but it's time for me to stop. This is what I'm feeling. And this is why this person is coming off with a huge apology coming towards you, Scorpio. Okay. So we have the apology here. We have the seven of pentacles, the five, the six of pentacles. We're going to do six because it's six drawn, right? Yeah. So we have the magician and then we have the idea. Well, look at this. Oh my. Oh my. This person wants a second chance. I'm telling you. So there is a lack of investment here. You know, I feel like with this apology is going to throw you off because after the apology is like, they're going to kind of disappear, you know, not really putting any energy and any investments. But I feel like a lot of you are thinking like, oh, my God, should I even invest in this after I <laughs> I did with this person and they did nothing? But you're going to get some kind of balance back from this relationship. I'm also seeing some like faith or praying or trying to like, you know, take back that that power that you have lost as well in this relationship and getting that back. I feel like it's a lot to do with the universe, you know, being inclined with the universe and just being connected and um, whatever you're doing, praying, meditation, you know, just being in a positive place. This is happening and a lot of forgiveness. Look at this, the three of swords in reverse. You know, you're, you're forgiving this person. You're releasing this heartache. You're releasing the tears. And there's a new form of way between you and this person, you know, this new idea that this person is going to want to try to see where things go with you, you know, they're excited about this, it's going to bring back this passion, this excitement, this kitty feeling that you guys have been missing in this connection, okay, so let's see what this person have to say to you, because I feel like it's two sides to a story, okay, and let's just get entwined with their side, I know this is, this is a deep connection with this two of cups here, like a deep connection with you and this person it's like very hard to get rid of or to get over you know kind of vibe okay so let's say what we have what's this person want to tell scorpio what's the energy for this person please towards scorpio Scorpio. Okay, let's see. Ooh, okay. Wow, so good so far. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, so this person has... Ooh, okay, okay, good, okay, not too bad. I feel like what we're seeing here is like this person is definitely making their way towards you, Scorpio. It's taken a while. This person is kind of slow in the slow lane, okay? 
um, when it comes to their emotions. I feel like it's a lot to do with them feeling like, you know what, they have been um, treated unfairly. Uh, when they were growing up, they had to take up responsibilities. I'm also feeling like there's a confident issue here. Like they feel like they don't deserve anything, you know? This is what I'm feeling. Like they don't deserve you. Um, but I seem like they're they're planting seeds and they're like getting themselves ready to come towards you and making this decision based on what they feel, what they know, what they have. And it's a lot to do with them, you know, the time that have passed by that they made happen. You know, they could have fixed this quickly and they kind of lingered and kind of like went into this energy where they're not, they weren't taking care of themselves. They were clubbing, they were dating, they were doing things unhealthy, hanging out with people that wasn't good for them. And I feel like this life wasn't the best for them. You know, this is not what they needed. They wanted something more stronger, more deeper. And I feel like they're going to come towards you and tell you this. It's like they're being pushed towards you, your direction. And they're going to try to share it with you. But again, you know, the, the vibe that I'm feeling with this person, I do see communication, but it's like, you know, in the beginning, it might be a little bit rough for this person to express themselves. Okay. So let's see what we have. Okay. There's a lot of immaturity here. Look at the ace of wands in reverse. So I feel like this person is going through their own struggle. And it's like over, like, it's, they're so powerful that you're feeling it, you know? It's like they're giving you what's left of them. But I feel like they're taking some time for themselves and and the best thing for you right now is for them to actually stay away and to fix stuff, to invest stuff and to get stuff ready. Like I said, you know, they're going through this and the reason why they're taking so long to get to you because they're going through a process of healing. As you can see, this is the main thing here and then this is what they're going through as they're trying to make their way to you. So I feel like this person was very immature as well. This is what I'm seeing. But it's a lot to do with confidence, you know, whether or not like knocking on your door. This is what I'm seeing. Like they're afraid of your rejection. They're afraid of you, you know, definitely slamming a door in their face, you know. And so they're not making any movements. I feel like, oh, wow, the three of wands, the ace of wands. It's like they weren't sure like if you were going to take them back, but there was going to be communication about where they've been, what they've been doing. And I feel like they're saying, hey, you you, you have the right to know. Why am I feeling like you are, you've been waiting for this person? Because they're making me feel like a lot of you, this person disappeared out of nowhere. Like you haven't heard from them. And they were doing a lot of healing. They were trying to choose themselves and trying to like find out exactly what they wanted and nurturing themselves. And I feel like this was something that they didn't do in a very, very long time. And they're actually dealing with a lot of devilish ways, toxic ways, you know, childhood trauma as well. Childhood trauma, dealing with a, a form of, a, it doesn't have to be drugs, you guys. It could be just like a toxic family that they are dealing with. And that's the drug, a toxic environment, okay, with their lifestyle, okay. But there's a decision that needs to be made here, even though this person's been handling this and doing things their way for a very, very long time. There's like a, a, a judgment call here that's happening within them. Like they're being called to do this and end this lifestyle, end this situation. So this person, for, for a lot of you that are long distance, they're moving closer to you as well. I seem like they're moving or closing a chapter from their past and moving like into a different place. They're trying to go towards their happiness because right now they're definitely not happy. And when they're not happy, they tend to not communicate. They tend to shut down and they tend to go into this form of like <clears throat> manipulation technique that they use to control things. But I feel like a lot of the things that you wanted from this person, they're realizing like they weren't your son. They weren't your happiness. They didn't bring any kind of bliss to your life. I feel like this person is saying, huh, my God, I brought a lot of toxic vibes to your life, okay? But they still want this. And this card was, I, I, you know, this wasn't going to be dashed out, but I saw it. It showed itself to me, and so it wanted to be here. 
And you know, what you don't even see is that this person still wants a future, want a fulfillment with you, even though they're going through a transition or a transformation. Okay, it's going, to, it's going to take a longer process for this person to actually get here, but they're planting seeds. They're trying to heal. They're trying to do better, but it's taken a while with this Knight of Pentacles because they're walking to you. They're taking their time to you. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, but they made this decision. On the back of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles. For those of you who are married to this person, it's like you're tying up loose ends and they know it's a toxic vibe here that's going on look at this the ace of swords i mean ace of swords girl ace of cups <laughs> they want a new beginning i also saw healing back here you know they're going through a lot of healing mental and physical and this has nothing to do with you it has something to do with their past so they're taking their time back i feel like when they're coming back you're going to be tying up some kind of loose end because you think this relationship is over like I said, I'm going to say, I'm going to title this video, The Huge Apology, because, or what you don't see coming or something like that, because this is for someone who is definitely thinking that this relationship that they have is done. But look at this person taking their time to come to you, building a way that they can be with you. All they're thinking about is you trying to make sure that you know at the end of the day, Eve, this is happening in the future, by the way, they, they chose you and they made a huge mistake here, a huge mistake. Maybe I should title it that way. I need, I need you to know what's in this video so you can watch it because I feel like this message is really, really important. Like someone that this person is talking to, like they're telling me like, please tell my person this, you know, it's like that form of energy that I'm feeling. <laughs> That form of energy. Tell me more. Tell me more. Oh, for Scorpio. And then I'm getting Libra energy, Capricorn. I'm getting Libra twice with the judgment and the justice. For some of you, you could be going through court with this person as well. For those of you who are married, but this person is not going to fight you in court. Okay. We have self, um, self worth, and then we have, um, high priestess of spirit. Wow. And then we have meditation. So a lot of you are going through some kind of meditation, okay? You're going through prayer. And I already, like, know that about you because we have the magician, right? So definitely someone is trying to really, like, make a decision using their intuition, you know, their spiritual side. Really just trying to breathe and just using the universe to help them to make this decision and actually, you know, move forward in their lives in a quiet place, you know, not being dramatic and crazy. You're definitely just trying to do this as, you know, the air signs, like just being spiritual, you know, taking that, like manifesting your way through this. Okay. And you have the manifestation card. I'm getting texts or something. Okay. <laughs> Um, meditation, meditation card, um, that is coming up for you. Number 25. So you're doing this in silence and you're trying to definitely get your self worth, um, back up. Okay. This is what I'm feeling. Even though, you know, well, I'm telling you about your person, I'm feeling this is your energy. Okay. So something that's going on and I feel like this person is doing the same thing, you know, spiritually, because you have the temperance here. You know, you have them trying to heal themselves, trying to take their time, trying to be patient, trying to, you know, really believe that some things happen for a reason. Like this is the, the kind of belief that this person, you know, believe. Um, a new chapter is coming up for you that haven't even started yet. This is what I'm seeing here as well. Okay, so tell me more. Ooh, focus. And I feel like this person is trying to be as well and trying to get their hope back. Yeah. And trying to like really listen to their intuition as, as well as, you know, you are. So we have number 17 and 27. Then we have 34. So I'm seeing trapped. I'm seeing hope. I'm seeing focus. Okay. There is something that you're going to be doing or going to be starting. This is what I'm hearing. But there's this deceit that you need to look out for. And this came out twice um, in this read and also in Gemini's read earlier. Like you guys are both going through this um, energy where this person is around you, okay? And I don't fe necessarily feel like it's this person. I feel like it's someone around you that is highly just smiling in your face, hanging with you, 
And when you're not looking, they're giving you the weirdest looks. It's just so crazy. So I need you to like protect your energy here and protect yourself, Scorpio. Okay. And there is a trapped energy as well. Why am I feeling like a lot of you want to try something new and you're saying to yourself that you can't because you're trapped? No, you are. That's all in your mind. Tell me more. For Scorpio. Any messages for Scorpio? You are here for a reason. Wow. The angels want you to know that you are here for a reason. So if anyone is telling you differently, just know that they're trying to... Because you need to stay focused, number 17. You need to stay focused. There's something that is coming, and they're trying to throw your energy off to make you feel a certain way about yourself. Have an attitude of gratitude. So be thankful, thankful for what you have now because things are about to change for you. Worry is a wasted emotion. So don't worry. Know that the angels are going to provide for you. Like your bills are already paid for. The angels already paid. For. All you have to do is just keep moving. Keep doing what you're supposed to do. Do your part. Know your truth. Let me feel like you guys are alone in this um, relationship. Like, because this person is MIA. Like, somebody, somebody is telling me that like, this person has disappeared. And then they're just going to show up. But they've been going through a breakdown. This is what you don't know. They've been going through a breakdown of their own. And they cannot deal with that and communicating in, with other people. They just can't do it. They, so they shut out the world when they were going through this. And it like really hurt you. Focus on other things. Be of service. Okay? Because this is already coming back to you make each day count a lot of you are sitting there and waiting for this person to show up okay what's the scorpio's energy please please tell me more for scorpio's energy okay so you have the two of so two of wands i'm about to say swords but you have the two of wands and I feel like you're in a crossroads with your life right now, Scorpio, and it's you're going to take a new path, you know? I feel like a lot of you are going through a new path in life because I'm seeing you facing the sun. Look at this picture. Wow, how beautiful. You know, there's two paths, okay? This one has like a sunflower, so it's kind of highly emotional, but this has the sun in here, but these are like, this could be love as well because you see the two birds on this side, so this is nine, but I feel like... You have this thing in your hand, like you have this, um, I should say like this, what is it? The star, the star in your hand, <laughs> um, <clears throat> like a starfish, for example. And then you're moving towards the sun to me, but you could go either way. You could choose a new love, a new direction, or choose being by yourself, you know, and, you know, exploring the city here, which is, as you can see on the very side. It's like you're going on an adventure or you're going into this love, this new love. And um, I feel like you're going to see number six or number nine because that's what I see on the card here. And then we have the nine of pentacles in reverse. So it's like you're taking back your power or trying to because you have lost a lot of independence and also money issues. So I'm also getting that with this person as well. That they're coming to you in a better situation. So this person could have lost their job and now they've finally got a better job. I feel like something that they lost and they kind of like went in some kind of depression because of it and kind of disappeared. But now like something is happening, a transformation in their lives and they're coming back. They're coming back out of their shell. But I'm going to tell you this, this person still is dealing with mental issues. They're still dealing with the four of swords. Okay. So tell me more for Scorpio. Then you have the Three of Pentacles. It's like you're dealing with, um, get, it's like a relationship that didn't go so well, a collaboration, someone that got together with someone, kind of like you lost your independence, you lost your, you know, your respect for this person. 
um, and you're trying to go on a, a better um, path, but you don't see this person coming back, and that's the gag of this whole reading. You don't see it because you're pretty sure that this is over. Look at that, the star in reverse, and you're holding a star here with hope, you know, with hope of something happening that's new. But you're dealing with some kind of disappointment where you don't see where it's going to come back together. Like you're walking away from something that, you know, ended in the tower. In the tower, Aries and um, Scorpio energy. <laughs> we have the Page of Wands as well. A new form of way that you don't see coming towards you. And that's what I'm feeling here. <laughs> But you also have Aquarius vibes. You have a lot of energy here. Like I said, Capricorn, Libra coming out twice here. Pisces. Um, we also have um, Leo, for example. I'm sure there's more, but they're kind of buried. Let's see. Let's see, because I'm just going to pick these up. Okay. Let's say, let's say. Yeah, Libra coming out twice here. Then we have Saj energy. Okay. Any other body? Any other body? And that's about it, right? Okay, so we're going to see what your energy is when it comes to this person and what, what's your final like decision, you know? What are you going to do um, when it comes to loving them and when, when it comes to them loving you, what are they going to do, their final moments? You know, <laughs> that they want to share with you the words, the feelings, okay? All right, so let's see, let's see. Okay, we're going to use this deck for you, Scorpio. What Scorpio action towards this person, please? Scorpio, final action towards this energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For Scorpio, what Scorpio emotion towards this person, what their action is, will be when it comes to love. Okay, so let's see, Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio, please. Okay, so we have a page of swords, the seven of swords. We have the sun in reverse and we have the eight of swords. I feel like you're going to be freeing yourself from this restriction. Okay, there's a restriction here. And I feel like, again, Scorpio, it's because you don't know what this person is about to do. But, you know, energy do shift. I feel like it's going to be some kind of communication with this person, like a, hey, how you doing kind of energy. But you found out something about this person and, you know, I feel like it has to do with a lot of people actually telling you this too. So there's a lot of um, going back and forth and, you know, I heard this and I heard that you're not really hearing it from the horse's mouth. But I'm feeling like you found something out and now you're trying to make a decision whether or not what you need to do. Um, again, the sun is in reverse here, so this is not making you too, too happy to what you're about to decide, okay? But I feel like with it all, you're just going to have to like walk away from this and free yourself. It's like you're getting some kind of clarity from this, the, from this situation. So let me just use this deck for your person really quickly with some um, this energy towards Scorpio. What's their final action towards Scorpio when it comes to love? This person's intentions for Scorpio. Why am I thinking about eggnog, y'all? <laughs> I'm thinking about eggnog. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Somebody is something to do with eggnog. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Tell me more. I need two more cards. Thank you. Okay. And then let's see here. Ten of Wands. Oof. Okay. So. This person has a Ten of Wands, a Two of Swords, the Devil in Reverse, and this is what came up before, and the Five of Pentacles. So it's like they're trying to be like, whatever coldness they had towards you or whatever they were doing, and the door were pretty much shut and you couldn't reach them, they are definitely opening back that door now, and I feel like they're tying up loose ends with 
all of those were emotions okay so that's going to make it easier for you to reach out if that's what you want to do um but I, again i told you that this person is coming towards you um i do feel like i'm seeing the devil here so they're they're always going to be like battling with themselves in and out so this is someone that is one moment fine and then another moment they're going through something i feel like they're going to have to work towards, you know, trying to communicate that with you and the triggers that they go through in life. And they're always dealing with this toxic environment. And I feel like they're, they're not, I don't feel like this person is wanting to be toxic, but they're kind of like, you know, they're in that kind of environment. So it's kind of overflowing on themselves. And then you, I feel like, you know, this person is realizing that their whole life is a burden and this relationship with you if they're going to be with you, you're going to have to, you know, kind of like take up their burden too, because they're carrying this burden. And then if you're going to be with them, you're going to have to carry it with them as well. So it's like, they're not looking too good with this. Like if it's going to work out, they just feel like, you know what, you deserve better. They're in a horrible place right now. And it's not just with you, with everybody, you know, this is how they're feeling, you know, I feel like this person is like, well, if I'm going to be with someone, it's going to have to be with someone like me, you know, the way I feel about myself, that's the kind of person I'm going to attract, you know, that's the kind of person that I'm going to be comfortable being with. And I feel like this person, you're like, um, being with, they love being with you, but it's like, you t make them, you're, you don't make them comfortable. You make them want to be better, you know, and they want to be comfortable because comfortability is something that it's easier to deal with than just being uncomfortable and trying to get things done that you, you haven't done before and you don't know much about so this is what I'm feeling like this person's energy is all about which is not which is not a happy thing here it's not something that you're going to be like oh my god thank you you know for telling me this is just it's not in a good place but this is what this person's energy is all about now all right, so let's see what the messages are. Let's get some messages, some angel messages up in here, you guys. Okay, let's get some angel messages up in here. Thank you, angels. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. What is the message that you want? Scorpio, you know. Capricorn is coming out really strong here and I'm seeing the sun for some reason over time over time so keep that in mind you guys that could be an energy that you're dealing with okay it doesn't have to be but it is showing a lot showing up a lot we have compromise here so we got conversation something is happening between you and this person that you don't see it's like the angels are working overtime here behind the scenes to bring something together. Ooh, so yeah, unlikely. Someone is feeling uncomfortable about something. Like this is not going to happen because they just don't see it happening. They don't see it happening. Peaceful resolution <laughs> and reconsider. Wow. And those cards don't come out like that unless this is what the energy is. It's like the angels are pointing out that there is something more that you don't know that there's going to be a balance. There's going to be conversation. There's going to be a peaceful resolution between you and this person, even though there's a lot of negative thoughts going on here. And the angels are saying like, listen, I, I say this all the time, but I hear it over and over again in my head. Like, stop thinking negative because we cannot work into the negative, you know, foundation. You have to start thinking positive. Start, please start manifesting positively. Okay. And when you do have a bad thought, just remove it, remove it with your strength because you have it within you it was planted there before you were even here so <laughs> oh abundance one more please yeah abundance is your right you guys <clears throat> and remain positive oh my gosh remain positive look at that look at that <laughs> we just started talking about that and look what showed up here remain positive like the angels are saying like, and that's just a confirmation from what I just said to you. Like, please stay positive. Please remove the negative t things that you think about because it's holding up the process and they really want you to be successful here and to experience the abundance that they have for you. So remember that. Tell me more. So you have give without expectations and know it's going to be returned to you.
So we have set your intentions. So don't be afraid to speak up. That's what I'm hearing. Love is your energy, not hate. You know, love is your energy. This is why this person adores you because you're different from the most people that they have been with. A lot of them hate, a lot of them hurt, a lot of them use their hands to, to damage their bodies. And you speak through love, you know? You have those toxic environments, again, with a devil, that this person been in relationships that they physically fight in. This is what I'm picking up. Physically harming each other or someone is harming them. And this is how, this is what they're used to. So they're coming into your life with someone that doesn't do this, right? And doesn't feel like this is right. And it's kind of like different like to them because this is all that they're used to, a toxic environment. And it's like uncomfortable for them because this is not what they're used to, right? So, but it's actually good for them as well. <clears throat> and they're like, love is your energy. Please don't try to be anything different don't be mad at them and try to you know hate them because things are not working out and they disappeared and they did all of this no no they want you to stay with love they want you to stay in the light they want you to stay blissed because they feel like you give them the happiness even though they're not making you happy right now they're not because they're dealing with so much i feel like i'm getting an energy where this person needs to stay away that's what that's what they're saying like to make it better for you they, they're trying to stay away from you, but it's like they can't. <clears throat> they can't stay away from you. Set your intentions. Speak your truth. Speak up. Let this person know how you feel. Don't be afraid to hold back because you feel like they're going to disappear. No, they're going to disappear when they want to disappear. It's nothing to do with you. Nothing at all to do with you. Once they go through that trigger, okay, of that negativity, and they can't, you know, process it fast enough like how you could and get out of that bubble they're going to disappear to take some time for themselves because they're going to need to right so let me see what else we have the energy deck here thank you angels. i'm seeing love coming into your life yep look at that romance door to romance is open Things are coming together for you, 2020, like two, 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 and three, 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 33, 22, those numbers. <laughs> wow. Things are coming together, especially when it comes to love. <clears throat> Again, you know, look at that. The yin yang, and then you have the patience card, the healing, the process, you know, believing that you're actually here for a purpose, the strength card, patience card, angel of strength. Okay. So tell me what's going on. What's going on here for Scorpio energy for today's read? Oof, thank you. Scorpio's energy for today's read. Oh, yin yang want to show itself. So there's a form of action that needs to be done here for something to come together. But I feel like it's happening, but they're like, you need to, you need to like do this. Okay. So Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy coming towards you. This is about a relationship. Intimacy is coming into your life and also creativity. So this could be a person, number 42, number 36. Angels are getting this together. Somebody that is definitely a feminine energy it could be a man or a woman with a feminine energy. But I'm also feeling this person is very accomplished, okay? So they're here to help. They're here to teach. They're here to make your life better. They don't need anything from you than your love but i'm seeing like hostility here so there's a lot of jealousy behind this Ooh, i'm holding this card too tight there's a lot of jealousy behind this there's a lot of envy watch out for that number 26 for those of you a lot of immaturity action yeah action is needed remember i saw the yin yang and i was like why am i getting like action and now we have the action card. Something is happening. Something is coming together for you. I'm getting differences. Like you guys are not going to be. Like this person won't be your type. That's coming into your life. It's going to be like someone that you would never date. <laughs> but it works. It works. Okay. So you have the rest card. 
So it's time to take a break, okay? And also trust your intuition on everything that's happening around you because I feel like your your situation, oh my God, why am I going back to this situation? Because I'm getting the hostility card and then the moon card and you just don't feel good about your environment in the moon. You feel like something is a little bit shady there. There's a, way too many secrets. People are wearing masks. They're not being themselves with you and you don't feel safe. And I feel like the angels are saying, hey, take a break. Take a break. You need to like rest. Really connect with the spiritual world. You know, pray to your God, your angels. And just know that you are highly protective. Highly protected. Okay? And they need you. They look at that. They're like swarming over you. Look at that light around your body. I mean, come on. You're so like important to the universe. Like the universe is so around you right now. Hmm. Well, this is what I have for you, um, Scorpio. The 17, 19, 42, 36, and 26 is your card numbers. And we also have 52 for today. So if this does resonate, remember to like the video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. And may God bless you all. And I will see you guys in your next read.